Joshua here again. Yep. You know what time it is, kid. I was recently talking with a member of the tribe, and they expressed a profound sadness to me. They felt love, but they feared who they loved may draw my wrath or that of the tribes. Looking into their eyes revealed to me a pain deeper than the burns on my flesh, torn between who you love and the people that love you. It's not an easy choice, I told them, but it's not a hard one either. I told them, you need not worry, child. The heart speaks for the heart, and the soul speaks for the soul. Who am I, or anyone else, to tell you how to feel, or who to feel connected to? I only hope that you can find some semblance of peace in your life. I understand some people may judge you for who you are, what you identify as, who you rest your soul with. But what does their judgment matter compared to your own? A simple proverb I like to use in these situations is this. Does the seed ask the soil to grow, or does it simply breach the soil to embrace the sun's warm embrace? You don't need confirmation for who you are. You don't need people to accept who you love. As long as you can learn to accept yourself, no one's going to die for you, friend, and no one's going to live for you. So don't hold back and be the gorgeous star I know you are. And if you pass the 7-Eleven, can you please get me a Kit Kat? Thank you.